used uh, at this show yesterday by the CEO of Walmart about brick and mortar retail. This is something you and I have discussed before, a company that has invested heavily in e-commerce. That is a huge uh, subject of debate here. We're up here in the Innovation Lab at the National Retail Federation show. That's, it's packed with people, as you can see, and that is key because this isn't about the death of brick and mortar and the rise of e-commerce. This is about how the two are going to coexist together, and that will take some serious innovation. glance, this looks like any other Madison Avenue menswear store. But take a closer look. The first thing you notice, well, there's, there's only one of every item on display. And there's only one size as well. And what about where you pay? Where are all the cash registers? Think of it almost like the physical manifestation of a website. Andy like, Dunn started Bonobos here, online ten shop. years ago. Five years later, he began opening physical stores. Or are they? This is essentially not a store, is it? This is just a showroom. I don't know what it is. We call it a guide shop. They now have 48 of these so-called guide shops in the U.S., offering a one-on-one -on -one fitting experience, and then you just place an order online. So we have here, you know, probably no more than a 1,200, 1,400 square foot space where we're able to put in thousands and thousands of styles. It's a concept so successful that last year Walmart bought the company for $310 million. Was it wild to think that you're now part of the world's biggest retailer? It's wild. We thought offline retail didn't matter when we started the company. We thought the future was all digital. It's really both. That future could mean rethinking not just store size and inventory, but also the people who work there. What we're in, inside of is um, an unattended, fully automated store. Deep Magic uses artificial intelligence, which recognizes all the stock on the shelves and tracks your every move. So we are using um, camera technology. Like you remove something from the shelf, then we basically um, assume you're buying it. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you walk out the door with it, we basically build your credit card. They hope to launch in stores this year amid formidable competition. Amazon's been testing its own cashier-free grocery concept, Amazon Go for the past year. Should everyone in retail be afraid of Amazon, do you think? I mean, I belong to Walmart, so I'm not afraid of it, but I think that the, the combination of having both great physical experiences with being digitally innovative, I think the combination is the most powerful thing. And just like with a perfect pair of stretch washed chinos. That actually is gonna get us the right ratio. It's all about getting the right balance. Richard Andy Dunn told me that he thinks the right balance will eventually be 50-50. I think uh, some people would disagree with that, but certainly, as you can see from these uh, warehouse robots that are traveling around me, e-commerce is definitely on the rise. This is fascinating because it's trying to meld these robots that tr and these stores. They're trying to meld the, the I want to touch it, feel it, see it, with the advantages of... Uh, of online shopping. Can they do that? I mean, you're missing the instant gratification of walking out the store with a bag to wear it that night at the party. Yeah, absolutely, Richard. And I think the sense is that uh, some people, you know, the millennials growing up nowadays aren't really looking for that anymore. It's much easier for them uh, to just have something delivered to their home. But look, we're standing here. Uh, this is Locus Robotics. They make robots for uh, e-commerce warehouses. I want to bring in Rick Falk, who's the CEO of Locus Robotics. Uh, and they face challenges, Richard, that go way beyond the issue of, of, of just, you know, how to reconcile physical retail and, and e-commerce. Rick, tell me about what your biggest challenge is here. Well, the biggest challenge is I've spoken with retailers all over the globe over the last several days the biggest problem they have is hiring enough workers to actually ship what they've sold and the nice thing about locus we enable them to augment workers increase the rates that they pick at and be much more productive and as a result they can work with less workers in the warehouse and actually ship the stuff they sell right because I mean the US economy is basically at full employment right now so so the difficulty is there to get get workers tell me about how these these uh, these robots actually work how smart are they well they're actually very smart and it's actually very simple we can set up a building in the matter of about a week we install some indicia we call them locus points on racking in a warehouse we build an image map of that building and then integrate with the customer's WMS system, their warehouse management system, and we can be up and running in a week, so it's very easy to do. And they can navigate their way smartly around the stores? Exactly. 
I want to talk to you about the elephant in the room here, in, in this, this huge room, is, is Amazon. Obviously, this is sure. who everyone is trying to, to compete with. Your company grew out of this competition with Amazon. Talk to me a bit about that. Well, as a matter of fact, it did. We have a sister company called Quiet Logistics. Quiet was a Kiva customer. Amazon bought Kiva four or five years ago, took the product off the marketplace, and then Locust spun out of that, out of the need to have automated warehouses. So we created Locust, incubated it, for about three years, brought it to market, and frankly, Amazon is our best marketer right now because they've created the strategic need to ship things very quickly, ship them accurately, and they've created really an arms race with every retailer in this room. And the nice thing about it, they've created that arms race, and Locus is an arms dealer in that arms race. Perfect. I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Thank so you. there's an arms race going on here, as you see, Richard, and Amazon is the one that's driving the innovation in retail. I love that. Quote of the day. Thank you, Claire. There's an arms race going on, and we're an arms dealer in the middle of it. I think that's perfect. I'm very brave of you standing in the middle of all those uh, robots. Thank you. Yeah. Vogue, the publisher.